أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفمن يتقي بوجهه سوء العذاب يوم القيامة وقيل للظالمين ذوقوا ما كنتم تكسبون كذب الذين من قبلهم فآتاهم العذاب من حيث لا يشعرون فأذاقهم الله الخزي في الحياة الدنيا والعذاب الآخرة أكبر والعذاب الآخرة أكبر لو كانوا يعلمون صدق الله العظيم these are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar, the ayah number 24, 25, and 26. In the ayah 24, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked us, is he who will confront with his face the awful torment of the hellfire at that day, at the day of resurrection? Is he equal? أَفَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ is he equal? Meaning, is he equal the one who will come, who will who will come secure, at that day? We will compare between them. This one, uh, the one, the, the ultimate end of the unbelievers. Actually, we had talked about the kind of torment at that day and why Allah Azza wa Jalla describes that torment uh, in, in this ayah and uh, how about and what uh, the objective in that description and why Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, will punish some of his uh, creatures فَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And at the end of ayah, uh, we said that وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ Allah Azza wa Jalla informs us that at that day, it will be sad to those who are oppressed وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ who are oppressed in this life who were tyrants in this life Allah Azza wa Jalla described them with ظلم الظلم with unjust, there are, those are the people whom are unjust. وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ This torment, this kind of torment will uh, reach to those who are الظالمون. وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ So, Allah Azza wa Jalla wants us uh, to think that we should be away from الظلم. We should beware the ظلم. Because Allah Azza wa Jalla will uh, punish who will uh, who are who are uh, making dhulm in this life, who are oppressing in this life. Waqila and in that lecture we talked about the uh, the kind of uh, dhulm. Uh, we said that maybe you can oppress your neighbor or your employee or anyone. You may. Uh, uh, not give him his right you may not uh, respect him as a man uh, that he deserve the respect that he deserve and there is a kind of dhulm which is the biggest one and if you do not respect the creator if you deny deny him if you do not give him the respect that he deserve then at that point point you oppress allah azza wa jalla you are making the dhulm to the, to your creator and this is the biggest of the dhulm. For example, Allah is the only one creator. If you share this uh, certain qualities with someone or somebody or something else, and you think that Allah Azza created most part of the uh, universe, and some peoples or something had created a small part of the universe. If you share this certain qualities of Allah Azza certain attribute of Allah Azza with someone else, then this is shirk, and this you are taking uh, 
a certain right of Allah Azza wa Jal and sharing it with someone without any real reason you are making vulm to Allah Azza wa Jal because in reality he is the one who created everything he, do, he does not deserve uh, to be the one who uh, to be the one who uh, share uh, who has partners with, with his creators with his creatures so when you do not acknowledge the right of your creator any kind of right uh, of Allah he is the one creator he has all the power in his hand and all the attributes of Allah جل, if you share them with, with someone or th something else then you, you oppress your creator you do not respect his right because in reality he has them all without any partner so this kind of this is the big kind of zulm when, the, when uh, Luqman said to his uh, son Ya Bunayya la tushrik billah O oh my son do not make shirk do not uh, uh, put any partner to Allah because if he he does not have any partner do not uh, share the rights of Allah do not make shirk because the shirk uh, is the biggest uh, zulm it's the biggest kind of uh, zulm and big, big, uh, it's the biggest one of the zulm so we should understand the zalimeen uh, those who did not who uh, did not acknowledge the right of the creator Allah, it will be said to them taste what you used to earn because this is the consequence of what you did in your life this is not something Allah Azza inflict on you. This is uh, the result of what you used to did in your life. ma kuntum taksibun. And now the ayah 25. min qablihim. Those before them denied. Kadhabaladina min qablihim. It means that they are not the first who uh, deny Allah Azza there was many people before them they also denied the creator why Allah mentioning about them what's the reason reason because Allah wants us to know what happened to them when they denied the creator when they blind him when they blind the messengers when they didn't acknowledge uh, the only one creator there were people before you, your ancestor they also denied your creator like what you are doing now uh, actually this is said to people of Quraysh or those uh, who denies the creator uh, in every time Allah Azza wa Jalla says to them that there were people denied me like you but you should know what happened to them there were people before them denied what they did denied? they denied their creator they denied the ayat of Allah Azza wa Jalla they denied the evidences they denied the signs of Allah Azza wa Jalla and what happened then the torment came to them look Allah does not say I send the torment to them he says that the adab came to them as if the adab is uh, is someone and comes with his uh, comes initially with his own will, will. فَأَتَاهُمُ الْعَذَابِ or the adab comes automatically فَأَتَاهُمُ الْعَذَابِ comes itself no of course Allah Azza wa Jal sends them to al-adab but 
Allah Azza wa Jal wants us to know that if you be among those of Zalimun, then the adab will reach you. No way. وَلَا تَمِيلْ وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا فَتَمَسَّكُمُ النَّارِ If you support the oppressors, then the adab, the torment will touch you automatically. Torment will touch you. This is the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the rule Allah Azza wa Jal had put it. كَذَّبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Those before them denied فَأَتَاهُمُ الْعَذَابُ Then or so the adab, the torture had came to them فَأَتَاهُمُ الْعَذَابُ How the torment came to them Allah Azza wa Jalla says مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَشْعَرُونَ From directions they perceived not they didn't or they couldn't perceive the direction of the adab. Allah Azza wa Jalla can bring the adab from anywhere He wants. You cannot uh, guess it. It's impossible for you. You may feel that you are secure. You may feel that Allah Azza wa Jalla cannot do anything to you. You may see that everything is okay. But Allah Azza wa Jal has all the power to change all the things. Has all the power to change all the things. And this what makes the human entity disbelieve the Creator. He feel himself safe. He feel that no one can do anything to you. When he look around, he can see nothing danger against him. And then he begins to be master of himself. He begins to deny his creator because he begins to rely himself. He begins to trust himself. And this is very dangerous. Al-insan only can disbelieve only when he...